happy Easter, it's Brian with Monster Boy Rock Easter video. Hi, my name is Monster Boy Rock and welcome to the show. Happy Easter, everybody! Yeah! Easter! A great time of year in which you go around collecting colorful Easter eggs and putting them into baskets and trying to get all the cool, delicious chocolate candies and everything. It's a wonderful time of the year. And as you can see, I prepared for Easter myself with this little Easter decoration that I got at the dollar store. Looks expensive, doesn't it? Well, anyway, I decided to do a very special Easter edition of Drawing with Monster Boy Rock again this year. I did one last year, why not do it this year? But this time around, I am not going to be doing an Easter drawing. No, 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 no. Instead, I am going to be doing a very special Easter comic. Now. I have showed you some of my processes of making some of the comics that I've done, like the one where I had Sam and what he was thinking, and of course I did a Valentine's Day one just a couple months ago, but of course this time it's going to be completely different because it's going to be around Easter. Now I had already done an Easter comic before, and before we actually get to making this comic, I thought that I would read to you the original Easter comic that I made last year. And Yoo-hoo, Monster Boy Rock, I can help you with that. That voice sounds familiar. Greetings, citizens! Why, look, everybody, if it isn't our very good friend, Sir Seymour, the Inktober Skeleton Assistant. Correction, my good friend. I am no longer Sir Seymour, the Inktober Skeleton Assistant. You're not? Of course not. October is a long way away. From this point on, at least for today, I am Sir Seymour, the Easter Skeleton Assistant. Oh, I see. Well, welcome aboard, Sir Seymour, the Easter Skeleton Assistant. I was about to read to the viewers at home my original Easter comic that I made last year. Would you like to do it instead? Why, I would love to. Okay, great. Let me just look it up. Just go to Instagram real fast. I post a lot, this is gonna take a while. And now it's time for story time with Monster Boy Rock. Ah, here it is. Here you go. Why, thank you. <clears throat> the Magic of Easter Eggs, a secret beauty comic by Rocco DeCaro. Oh, where's Russell? He was supposed to be here two hours ago. River! Oh, Russell, thank goodness you're finally here! Russell, what is all that? I... I got all the eggs we need for all of our friends and family. Russell, this was really very sweet of you. It really is. But I think this is much too many Easter eggs to give away. There has to be like 400 eggs in there. Yep, that's 50 for the both of us. 125 for our families, 175 for our friends, 25 for Miss Holland, and 25 for Sam. So he isn't left out. So we give out 25 eggs each. Oh, I see now. Russell, you are such a genius. And it's all thanks to the magic of Easter. And calculators, of course. Happy Easter! The and. Yep, that was my first Easter comic, and my third official canon mini-comic overall. But today, I'm going to be doing my second Easter comic, which happens to be also my 19th official canon mini-comic, based off of characters from my passion project, ah! The Secret Beauty. And of course, you're more than welcome to stay and watch me make the comic, Sir Seymour. Sure, as long as there's not another earthquake. 
<laughs> Deal. Okay, so, as you all probably already know, I draw comics very differently from my normal drawings. I still use my sketchbook, of course, and my ink-seeking prevention paper, which I place under the piece of paper that I am drawing on, as well as all of the other pieces of paper that are involved in the comic. However, I don't use Sharpies to draw the outlines. I use a pigment liner pen, just like when I did Inktober. Now, like all of my mini-comics, this is going to be 10 panels long. Why do I do 10 panels, you may ask? Well, because Instagram only allows 10 photos per post. So, with that limitation, I try to find a way to make a story that fits within, you know, that limitation. So, yeah, bet you didn't know that. So, without further ado, I am going to get started drawing my second Easter Secret Beauty comic, yeah! So let's get started, shall we? So this comic is going to be called A Visit from the Easter Bunny. And it's going to be about Jessica and Petunia dressing up Russo as the Easter Bunny for no other reason than because they can. Um, Rock, is it okay if I give you a little Q&A session about how you make your comics? while you're making this comic? Well, sure, Seymour. What is it you want to know? How long does it usually take you to complete all ten pages of the comic? Well, that's a very good question. Well, it all depends on the complexity of the comic. You see, sometimes I can make a very simple comic, and it only takes maybe about an hour and a half, or two hours at most, to outline. But sometimes I do really complex tan panel stories, and it could take maybe a little bit longer, like three hours or even four hours. But this comic is going to be much, much simpler than the last comic I did, which was a garden comic, which was actually based off of a suggestion that a good friend of mine named Curly J actually gave me. And there was a lot of stuff going on in that comic and a lot of different characters, so that took a lot longer. This comic is only going to be three characters, so this should only take about an hour and a half. Maybe two hours at most. As you mentioned before, you're using one of the very same pigment pens that you used when you were doing Inktober. Have you always used pigment liner pens to make your comics? Well, actually, I first started making comics with Sharpies. Usually, it was either a black Sharpie or a navy blue Sharpie, and I would draw the outline for all 10 pages with them. But then when I got the pigment liner pens for Inktober, I kind of fell in love with them. So now, usually when I make a comic, I use the pigment liner pens. I did the garden comic with pigment liner pens, and I also did my very first extended comic, River and Russell Home for the Holidays, using one of these pens. I actually saw you wrote a script for River and Russell Home for the Holidays, but I don't see a script for the comic that you're making right now. Do you usually use a script to make your comics, or do you often just make it up as you go along? Usually, when I write one of my comics, I have the idea already in my head, and I often think up the dialogue in my head already before I write it onto the page. But sometimes I will just make it up as I go along, and I will sort of tweak the dialogue while I'm writing it. Alright, the outline for the comic is done. Now it's on to the next step. To the computer! Um, Rock... What are we doing here? Shouldn't you be coloring the comic at the table? Well, you see, Sir Seymour, I scanned these unfinished drawings into the computer because I am going to actually color them digitally on my tablet using Clip Studio Paint Pro. That's my painting software. Oh, I see. But why are you doing it this way instead of just using Sharpies to color it like you do the normal drawings that you draw? Well, in actuality, there are two reasons. One, if I were to use Sharpies to color the drawings, it would take forever. Remember, this is 10 pages of drawings, and every time I have to color one of my normal drawings, it can usually take anywhere between just as long as taking to make an outline for every single one of these pages. That's about an hour and a half to two hours. That's quite a long time. 
and it could take possibly two days to complete an entire comic. But by doing it digitally using this software, I can use the fill tool and it actually takes much less time to color each individual page. Each page maybe takes about 10 to 20 minutes to color, which means that within two to three hours, every single page is done. Now again, this depends on the complexity of the comic. This particular comic is much, much simpler and a lot of the same colors are being used. So it shouldn't take nearly as long, just like it took only about two hours to outline this comic. Now the second reason is that by using digital color, the color actually looks much, much cleaner and brighter than it would be if I used Sharpies. That's why with every single one of my comics, I outline them traditionally, and then I scan them into the computer, and then color them digitally. I'm still not really good at actually drawing digitally, like the outlines and everything, but by doing it this way, I can actually do it really, really well. And of course, I've already done it 20 times, so I've kind of perfected it. By doing it this way, I can actually make 10 panel comics nearly every couple of weeks. And do you know what? What, Rock? This particular comic is just about finished. Okay, Sir Seymour, you want to read this comic to our viewing audience at home, too? Sure thing, Rock. And now it's time for story time with Monster Boy Rock. Again! Did, did, didn't we already do this? I thought we already did this. A Visit from the Easter Bunny, a secret beauty comic by Rocco DeCaro. Come on out, Russell. Everybody's waiting in the gymnasium for you. Ugh. I can't believe I let you girls talk me into doing this. Don't worry about it, Russell. The kids are gonna love you as the Easter Bunny. Besides, you were the only one of us who fit into the costume. Petunia, you're the one who made the costume. You could have made it to fit you or Jessica. Like, come on now. You're gonna do fine, Russell. We promise. Well, all right. But do you also promise not to laugh once I open this door? We promise we won't laugh. <sighs> oh, all right. <sighs> Ta-da. You're the embodiment of cuddly adorableness! Huh. I guess this isn't so bad after all. The end. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. Well, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed this video today because I had a lot of fun making it myself. Now, if you want to see my brand new Easter comic, as well as many, many drawings with these characters for my passion project, then all you have to do is go on to Instagram.com slash The Secret Beauty Drawings or Facebook.com slash The Secret Beauty Drawing. The links to both of these websites will be in the description down below. And Sir Seymour, I want to thank you for coming back again to help with this video. Well, thank you, Rock, for allowing me to come back and witness you making a mini-comic. It was quite fun. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, by the way, before you go, I have a little present for you. Here you go, Seymour. Thank you, Rock. And you know, I have a little present for you, too. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> little gift, huh? Yeah. Well, ta-ta. Oh, good grief. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video today. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see some more Drawing with Monster Boy Rock videos like this one that you just finished watching in the very near future, 
then please click the subscribe icon and hit the little bell to be notified for whenever I make a video like this one of when I do Lamar, Petunia, and Frankie at soccer practice. You can also click on this playlist to watch every episode of Drawing with Monster Boy Rock as well. Happy Easter, everybody, and I hope you all have a very, very nice one. Take care now!